So you're looking into removing rust with muriatic acid? Muriatic acid is a great product for rust removal. It removes rust fast and effortless. I'll show you how to improve its effectiveness if you live in a cold climate like I do. And I will also show you the mistakes to avoid so you do not have the disaster I had. So stick around. I will show you how and why you must neutralize this marvelous acid. Okay, so now it's time to remove the rust. And uh, I hear this muriatic acid it's supposed to be the best thing to use. I don't know if you guys can see it. Dangerous stuff, so make sure you wear gloves. Now, reading the, the instructions, it says that for best results, to use it when it's uh, 21 degrees Celsius, though, be like around room temperature. And uh, got my thermometer here. The only register is outside at uh, 8.5. I don't know if you can see it. Gotta work around it, right? Because I'm not gonna be using muriatic acid inside the house. Uh, you could do it in, uh, in the garage if you had a mask on, which I don't. So I thought of one way to get around that. And uh, this is what I'm gonna be using. A nice bucket. I wanna pour the whole, the whole, uh, what is it, one gallon? Yeah, it's four liters. I'm gonna uh, fill up the rest with uh, warm water. And what I'm gonna do is take my, uh, my heating mat. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna take this heating mat that I have. It's pretty long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it up, wrap it around my bucket. this we're nice and tight hold up well I have like an old jacket laying around so I'm gonna wrap it around with my uh, with an old jacket that I have I will uh, plug it up Okay, I want to show you. I'm inside the shed right now. I'll show you. Got all my ropes up and everything. Everything's it's inside the bucket. See it? All my parts all tied up. The big parts at least. There's this one here that's kind of sticking out. So that one I'm gonna have to turn around and dip it. I got this little container, I got my spring, looks like to be in pretty good condition, once I get all the rust out of it, this one's really bad, you know how rusty it is, you guys see it, you know how bad it is, look at that, Very important, goggles. Extremely important. Very, very, very thick gloves. The ones that are gonna really protect you. Don't wanna be touching that acid.
the uric acid and water is they're both clear. I mean, the uric acid is just as clear as water. But look at it now. The water is so yellowish. So I put the, my pieces in uric acid at 1 p.m. I'll come back, I don't know, half an hour, an hour. Check up on my babies. Ooh, it smells. It smells inside my shed even before I get to the door. It like, maybe take my breath. Two o'clock. Oh, well, this thing's looking disgusting. Let's see if I can fish something. Wow, look at that. It's all gone. Look at that. It's pure metals left. That was the worst piece of rock. Uh, look, look at the spring. It. How beautiful it looks. Shiny. The best way to neutralize the acid is with plain old water. I took it out of the shed. Can you see the fumes? Those fumes are really bad for your uh, for the mirror, uh, for the uh, tools that you have inside your your shed or your garage. They actually rust everything in there. You see it, guys? It's ready for painting. Isn't it beautiful how it came out? Grinded everything. Pretty much polished it. Let's break. How shiny that is. All our parts are shiny. This is a little pitted here. This, my screws are a little pitted in this area. This is one of where it was stuck with the housing surely for many years for all that rust to, to eat up the metal look how beautiful that is though look at that shininess it's amazing how it came out look at the shininess of all this Guys, this morning, as I was coming into my shed, I found disaster hit. All my parts I've been working on, 
Let me show you what happened. All my parts rusted again. I had polished it so well, so beautiful. Look at that. And a black. It's, it's oh, this is so depressing. Look at that. The black. I, I done my little. I thought I done my research. Uh, they said not to leave any container open of of the acid because just the fumes the fumes themselves would um, would rust up all your tools in your garage or in shed. But I made sure I closed it, put it in the garbage bag. But the problem, I, I put my garbage bag inside the shed as well and in there I have rags uh, yes I put my container of muriatic acid in here but it, it's sealed like really tight but but then I have containers and uh, rags that I use to clean up clean up the residue of the acid and then at the same time I had my bucket and my working, my working uh, cement mixer uh, basket here in the in, in the in the shed, and although they're, 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 they're clean, you can look at them. I clean the mud really well. Uh, when I smell it, <coughs> it still stinks of that. It's, it still reeks of that um, of that acid. It's got that strong sulfur smell. So. I'm thinking that's the culprit. This is oh, I cannot believe it. I spent, I spent at least at least two hours polishing this uh, these pieces. I don't know what went wrong. I really do not know. So I guess I have to hit him up with the uh, wire wheel again. Oh well, lessons learned. So please, guys. Don't do the same mistake uh, I just did. Yeah, rookie mistake. This is my first time using this muriatic acid. Well, make sure that uh, you dispose of everything really well. I mean, take it. I leave it outside. Leave that garbage outside. The garbage bag. Leave um, all the containers. Leave them outside or or wash them extremely, extremely well. But look, from the looks of it, though, I, I remember that this portion here was sticking out from my bucket and and the rest it was dipped into the into the solution oh, rusting up again so what I'm gonna do now I wanna try to neutralize whatever um, residual acidity is left uh, on the metals uh, that, that I dipped uh, in acid so I prepare myself some uh, water. Um, that should be enough to, to, to neutralize it, but I want to take it a little step further just to make sure. And um, I have I have a swimming pool, and I have this laying around. It's to boost up the alkalinity. I go, Alkaboost raises the total alkalinity of swimming pool water and helps prevent corrosion. And, um, so I'm gonna give this a try I'm not too sure how much to use so I'm gonna go I'll just put a little bit because the water is already uh, pH balanced uh, adding this will will definitely help in neutralizing the acidity on, 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 on the metal there we go let me just add a little bit not too too much I don't think there's much needed to be added yeah I would say what quarter cup again if you're not if you're not sure I, I'm not a professional here I, I never done this before I'm, I know that I have to neutralize uh, the acid and um, I thought I had but I guess it wasn't enough so I'm just making sure that they, uh, I am neutralizing it totally 
So let me put my pieces in. Now my rusty parts. I got my alkalinity boost to raise the uh, pH of the water. So what I'm doing now, it's uh, it's, um, I'm just scrubbing it up a little bit, just making sure that uh, I'm removing every little speck of acidity left over from the uh, from the muratic acid. <sighs> yeah, I was not expecting this, but guys, learn from my mistakes. Be careful. Neutralize everything after using the acid. And again, like I said, I'm not a professional. If um, I, I might not know what I'm saying here, I'm just going with what I what I think it's it's normal to do. It's chemistry, right? It's acidity has got a pH, uh, a very low pH, and well, then you add this and uh, raise the alkalinity, raise the acidity, you neutralize it. And that way, I'm hoping it won't re-rust. Because if you don't, if you don't do it, I'm, what I'm kind of thinking is going to happen is that uh, if you leave the acidity, like a, like a nice, you know, film, invisible film of acidity on the on the metal, and you come to to, to paint it, I have a feeling the rust will spread up from the from underneath the paint, and uh, all that work that you're going to have done is for nothing. So. A lot of work, yes, I know, but uh, I, guess, I guess at the same time, that's why you see all this uh, re respiration pieces. They're quite expensive once they've done a nice uh, respiration, and I guess because all the work that goes into it, 